Viva la vegan! Hello, I'm Lee Chantel from vivalavegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer. It is, is it realistic to expect everyone to be vegan? This is great. I guess I personally would replace the word realistic with hopeful. Um, I'm a very realistic person, but I'm also an eternal optimist um, who is hopeful and believes that other people can always be the best version of themselves. I do believe that everyone can be vegan, but sometimes there are hurdles to overcome and sometimes these hurdles are quite small, sometimes these are quite large. And things that I would cast as small, for example, would be maybe losing some friends once you become vegan. And I'm all for getting rid of the dead wood in your life and if someone makes that decision instead of you having to, all, all the more better. But sometimes there are massive hurdles to overcome for some people and I've been to places in various western countries where there's just no access to fresh fruit or vegetables. In these food deserts, say in certain places in America, there's also no public transport access for people. So for example, you've got a low socioeconomic area, predominantly of um, African American people, and they don't have access to fresh fruit and vegetables, they don't have public transport whatsoever, and the only foods that they have are takeaway and fast food, rubbish sort of um, multinational companies. And they also have a lot of places that sell alcohol. Now this is, a, in my opinion, this is a massive hurdle for people to overcome. It's also a massive hurdle if you live in somewhere where there's no sunlight for most of the year or it's snowy most of the year because how are you going to grow fruit and vegetables of your own? So keep these things in mind and please try not to be judgmental towards other people. I live mostly in a suburban or an urban environment and it's really, really easy for me to access fresh fruit and vegetables. It's easy for me to get around. I have my own car. And some people just don't have these sort of luxuries. So please don't compare other people with what you have. I expect people to be kind, compassionate and loving. And for various reasons, sometimes this is much harder for some people than for others. But I am hopeful that people will be like this and always aim to strive to be a better version of themselves. And I do expect people to try. I hope that's answered that question. I hope you've enjoyed this week's question and answer. Um, I'll see you on our other social media channels or at vivalavegan.net. And I'll see you here next week for our video. And the question is, how can we be non-judgmental to non-vegans? See you then.